Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and this is an updated current household. Well hello there Missy's long dress and uh, this is actually a current household that was my very first Sims 4 current household and it is my family aka the sugar family and no my surname is not sugar it's not it's just for you know data protection purposes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, moving swiftly on. So this is the house, and if you remember, the house was a one-story house before. And who's this little guy? Elliot, 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 Elliot. Yes, one of Jonathan's children is coming a knocking. Alrighty, sorry about that, guys. So I think telemarketers wait till I'm recording and decide to phone. I think that is just what happens. So one of Jonathan's kids has came a visiting, so let us invite him in. Now, Jonathan is feeling particularly sad. I'm just going to pause this so I can inform you a little bit more about it. So this is the house. It was a one-story house before. It is a two-story house now, but we'll go into that a bit more. And as you can see, our family have grown. If you haven't watched the previous previous current household I will link it below because there is drama ahoy with this family and if you don't really get the background of it then it will make no sense to you so I'll link it below go and look at that go and watch that and then come back yeah or whatever vice versa <laughs> watch this and then go and see the backstory whatever suits you so it all started as all stories often do with me um yes me here I am here I'm sitting in my nightgown and I'm looking rather pleased with myself, thinking about computers. Well, <laughs> that seems about right, except, you know, I wouldn't wear that. So this is Laura Sugar, and that is me. And I am, um, I'm just going to play this and, and just let it go. Can, can you get changed, maybe, into your everyday outfit? Now, my aspiration was a soulmate aspiration, and I'm doing not too bad. I'm three out of the four, I believe, from moving up to the next level. And that is my sim. And that is my kind of sim self. Now, if you haven't seen a picture of me, a lot of people do ask after these kind of things, like, what do you actually look like? I don't think it's a good representation, really. But if you want to see a picture of me, I do have some pictures in my... I did a video, it was an update video with pictures of me in it and... and yeah, so you can see me there. So I have been doing rubbish in my job. I am only level four and I've been playing these guys for freaking weeks <laughs> and I'm only a level four and only just recently did I manage to get her to get an excellent painting. Otherwise, it just wasn't happening. Now she is talking to her husband, Chris, who has put on a bit of sim weight, getting a a massage with his sticky out bum there yes he is so um my chris saw this and he saw the fact that he had the the back boobs <laughs> if you don't know what back boobs it is that there back boobs and uh, he was like what have you done to my sim make him work out so i was like well okay fair enough so we're going to get him to do that so we're going to get him to go upstairs first of all and go ahead and do that and uh, let someone talk to this little boy here please let somebody come and speak to him can somebody come i mean he's just his dad has just left him so do a friendly introduction to this little boy Right, next is Jonathan. Now, I'm not showing traits of these uh, three people because these three people were really seen in the last one. But Jonathan, quick overview, okay? Jonathan is sad because we forgot his birthday. He grew into an adult and we forgot that he was becoming an adult. So it was a bit of a, a, bit of a shame for him. You're not going to go to bed and cry. You're going to come out here and you're going to brighten your son's day and discuss some interests with him. So, um, yeah, so Jonathan was the player of the town and Jonathan has a lot of girlfriends. Ashley is his girlfriend, as is Bella, Cassandra and Emily and Molly. <laughs> he has a lot of girlfriends, which then led to a lot of kids. Yes, it did. So his kids are Orlando, little Elliot, who you can see here, Kelsey, and also Elle, Emily, and I'm sure there was one more. Back in a second. So yeah, he's got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, <laughs> seven kids um, by all these girlfriends. And as you can see, his relationship with Bella isn't very good anymore. So I'll just kind of explain why. So as you can see, his love bar with Cassandra Goth, Bella is her mother, is uh, quite high. It's full, basically. And uh, they two have been getting on like a house on fire. They've been spending more time together. You know, that type of thing. She suits his kind of attitude. And uh, he went over to visit Cassandra, who still lives with her mother, who is also his girlfriend and one of his baby mamas. <laughs> It's so complicated, I know. But um, he went over there and they ended up, Cassandra and him ended up sleeping together. The problem was, Bella was in the house, as was Ashley. So Ashley is Bella's friend in the game. So the two of them saw him and Cassandra woohooing in the bed. They came into the room, they were crying, they were upset. It was just an absolute disaster. So their relationships, they're still technically girlfriends, but they're not having a good relationship whatsoever. So Jonathan has kinda lost his uh, two girlfriends, really. I mean, I suppose they could try and make it up, but who knows if they can. But he's enjoying kinda his romance with Cassandra. He's not gonna go and settle down, it's not who he is, but uh, I think Cassandra knows that. I think she knows, she knows all these girls, all these girls going around town talking about him. I think she knows it's an open relationship, but he doesn't know that she knows it's an open relationship. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Probably not. So he's doing not too bad. He's a minor crime lord. He's level five, so he's doing better than my sim for sure. Oh, Chrissy's career. He's doing brilliant. He's the next big thing. And he's earning 98 simoleons per hour, which is great. And he's also made an app. So part of his next challenge was to make an app. So that's what he did, and I called it Angry Butts. <laughs> you know, Angry Birds, Angry Butts. Hopefully you get the joke, or that's just embarrassing. And here's another one of Jonathan's children, Bethany Goth. So Jonathan's kids tend to come around quite a lot, because he does have a good relationship with his kids. Like, he does, they're not, it's not too bad. I mean, he's friends with Bethany, and he's okay with Orlando, and where's Elliot? And he's friends with Elliot as well, so he's got a decent relationship with them. Now, the new members of the family, Phoenix, is now an adult. He literally just turned an adult today. He was the only son that we had at the time, um, I think. Or did we just have Kate? We possibly just had Kate. And uh, he's doing not too bad. He's a computer whiz for his um, attribution attribution aspiration he doesn't have a job at the moment so we are going to have to get him a career and uh, skill wise it's mainly in computing it's in his programming that's his biggest skill so he's doing well apart from the fact that he's going to piss himself so how about you get up <laughs> How about you get up and use the toilet before you go and pee yourself so the next lady on the agenda and she's just done a great job there Oh, that's a that's a scowling face. This is little Miss Kate. Now you'll notice Oh some something something stinking. Have you have you let off? Have you farted? Like I told you about doing that in company, Kate. <laughs> so Kate is um the first daughter, the eldest daughter of myself and Chris, and she's got the biggest freaking lips I've ever seen in my entire existence. <laughs> they are enormous. Um neither Chris or I have big lips, so I don't really know where that's came from, but I feel that she works it. Now she has got blonde hair and the rest of the family have got red, as you can see, or Jonathan who's got black and Chris has got black. But as for the kids, they're all red headed. She was as well, but as soon as she became a teenager she was out with that bottle of peroxide turning herself into a blonde because she does believe that blondes have more fun yeah that's cheesy Laura but it's so true I think she actually feels that she's the reincarnation of Marilyn Monroe I think that's what she likes to think she's obsessed with her now she's a serial romantic so she <laughs> hasn't really done anything in that yet because she's aged up just recently and for her personality she's a genius she's alluring and she is good and she's foxy I like her I think she's she's an awesome sim and uh, she's always glamorous like always it has to be heels short skirts, tight tops, you'll never catch her in sweatpants. Even when she goes to her bed, she's still glamorous, sweet TC. Change outfit, change into your sleepwear. She's still got a full face of makeup on. See, still glam, 
still glam, full face of makeup on, still everything. She's glam. She is totally glam. Now this little lady here who's kind of blending into the furniture, she is the newest addition. She was twins, so we have twins Harper Sugar and Elena. Now she has got cheekbones to die for. I mean look at those numbers. I mean they are cheekbones and a half. <laughs> I mean really, could you could you just... Yeah, so as you can see, she has major league cheekbones, which I think she's still cute. I really do. And I love her little ballerina sweater. I think that's adorable. Adorable! There you go with my word again. And uh, she is an artistic prodigy. She just absolutely dotes on her mum. Our mum is her total life and uh, she's obsessed with this flaming blarfy <laughs> toy. And... Um, you know, she's just, she's a great wee thing and she has got, she's an art lover, but her mum is her hero and she wants to be an artist just like her mum. And then the last person of the family is our lovely little Elena here. And there she is, all cute and cosy in her, in her pyjamas. Now she does actually wear glasses, she is the only family member with glasses and I think she's adorable, so let's change it into it. So here she is here. Now she is a social butterfly. This girl talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. Oh, we also have a fish called Indy. <laughs> and uh, she talks and talks and she's quite happy making friends and influencing people and things like that. So she's dead cute. She's the first one that will give any other sim a hug if they're feeling down or anything like that. She's actually quite amazing. I think she's brilliant. So she is a cheerful sim. So she's also desperate for a pee. So that is her. A lot of these pictures were actually drawn by um, Phoenix when he was younger. But we'll just lift them up there because I think it's quite cute. Currently, the three girls share this room. It's going to have to be changed because now Miss Kate is a teenager. She's not going to be wanting to share with two kids. So we need to change that. This is the bedroom, the master bedroom. The house will be a little bit different, so I will do a tour. This is the master bedroom and um, we've got a nice distressed sort of dresser to go along there with a computer and then just this art thing up in the wall which I thought was quite appropriate since our, um, since I am an artist apparently in this. Over here is now uh, Phoenix's room. He's This is where Jonathan used to stay but this is his room now so he's got his own room and a broken toilet. Why don't you go ahead and, uh, not toilet sorry. In fact, for 60 quid, let's just replace it. How much is that? Just replace it. <laughs> Some days I can't even be bothered. The living room and kitchen has pretty much stayed exactly the same. We could be doing with extending this part because it's, you know, quite cramped. But I still love the living room. I really like the combination of the navy walls and the pink sofa. You would think that they would clash, but it just seems to work. Or at least I think it does. You guys might think it's an eyesore. <laughs> but I actually think that the navy and the pink was quite well. As you can see with a lot of pinks and reds and, you know, oranges round about the place, they are my favourite colour. Like, totally love those colours. So upstairs then, it's the only room we have. And I kind of wanted to make it separate, like a little bachelor pad. So I've put some stairs on the outside. Rather than have it connected to the house, I wanted it to kind of be a separate area for... Um, Jonathan, like it was an, like it was his own little house. I would possibly put, you know, if there was a, a way to lock this door, I would probably lock it for him, but there's not. So, there you go. So up here he's got his bed and he's got obviously a good computer, his own bathroom and there's also the fitness equipment up here, which I think we said you were going to work out, I think. Yeah. So, why don't you come ahead and take a picture with your daughter? Your eldest daughter, who has got the same bum as you. <laughs> so the two of them have got like total... Let me see. Let me see this up close. Oh, so cute. Look at you two. So adorable. Mother and daughter. She's like that. Yeah. Like exactly the same shape, except she's got smaller boobs. <laughs> Really funny. So that is what has been going on, guys. It's uh, a bigger household, and here's here's hunky, <laughs> hunky man here coming up to exercise. Um, 
it is a big a bigger house we have extended i have not used any money cheats or any cheats on this game whatsoever which is why the house probably isn't as glamorous as you would hope at this point but it's definitely a lot harder to make money in this than it it is and like the sims 3 and whatnot so i hope that you enjoyed this updated current household and jonathan 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 who knows if he can keep it in his pants for how long who knows <laughs> but i hope that you enjoyed this episode anyway guys and i will talk to you in the very next one